Hi, here we are at the groundbreaking of Vance Harmon Park here in Point Siena. And unfortunately, they wouldn't give me the keys to this thing to play around on it. But it's an exciting opportunity to be here. Because what we're doing is remaking the entryway into Point Siena by expanding Vance Harmon Park with a competitive swimming pool for our high schoolers to use. Also as an opportunity for seniors to participate in low impact sports. But also, besides the pool, we're going to have a community center that'll have a basketball court, changing rooms, meeting space, a great opportunity for folks in Point Siena to come and be a part of this great community. It's also an exciting opportunity because of the number one killer of children between the ages of one and five is childhood drowning. And with this opportunity with the pool in our community, we're going to be able to teach that next generation to make sure they're safe, not only around abandoned homes and pools, but also around the many retention ponds we have here in our community. So I'm very excited once again to have broken ground on this project. It's a $7.3 million improvement here in Point Siena. Another exciting infrastructure project we've been working on here is to deal with our traffic. And that's Point Siena Parkway. As most of you folks know, we've broken ground on that project and are moving ahead of not only time, but also we're under budget. That's going to be another exciting opportunity to allow folks to get in and out of the community of Point Siena. And then additionally, we have two different PDNEs connected to that project, looking at how to take that road all the way to I-4 and also east all the way over to the Turnpike. By doing so, we're going to be able to change the face of our community and also to change the face of transportation throughout the state of Florida. Besides infrastructure, we here in Point Siena love our events. And behind me is the Hispanic Heritage Festival that happens annually here in our community. It's a great time to come out, eat some wonderful food, and celebrate the diversity of our community. But also please be on the lookout for the rest of the year for other events coming throughout our community. Hopefully an exciting event we're looking to bring to your area is an opportunity for seniors and eyeglass programs. This past year in our budget, we created a $100,000 pool to help seniors who don't get that funding through Medicare to purchase the necessary eyeglasses they need to enjoy their quality of life. And quality of life is what we've talked about here today on this Commissioner's Corner. Whether it's breaking ground on our new parks, expanding our infrastructure, or celebrating our diversity, Point Siena is a great community and I'm excited to represent District 3. Thank you for tuning in and have a great day.